So Rima, Steinway has launched its first uh, mobile app. Can you play the piano on the iPad? I haven't downloaded it yet, but I know other apps um, that sort of like have the same features. And yeah, you can play it, you can learn how to play it if you're not familiar. You can buy sheet music to play your favorite compositions. I mean, it's a really interactive thing for users. Now Steinway is a very high-end piano brand. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you know, piano purchases are very considered, and they're placed, you know, some time in advance of the actual purchase. Mobile is a me medium of immediacy. So, what's the connect between the two? I think that they're saying that um, you know a lot more people are more like tech savvy, and that a lot of them are sort of like you know looking to their mobile devices, such as tablets, to sort of like. Um, for their everyday needs and some people can't afford a piano and or some people might not have space for one and maybe somebody has always wanted to learn how to play it or they um, they really want to play it on their tablet this is a great way for them to do it and was there anything interesting about this app uh, you know versus the others that you've covered any feature I mean, I um, I think this is the first time that I'm seeing that you could actually buy the sheet music. I haven't seen that before. And then you could also like store it in, they have like a library within the app and you can store all your sheet music and the sheet music is both free and paid and um, it's sort of like, I guess, has to do with which one you actually want. Are they, are they using the app to drive traffic to a Steinway showroom? Um, I don't know about that, but I think that the, they're definitely trying to keep up with like tech savvy users, like I said, and they're trying to like keep up with like the times. And as technology is growing, they want to adapt. So you think they're hitting the right keys? Yes. <laughs>